in the previous section we have seen how to validate if there is any step that is missing in challenge one let's quickly look at the challenge two here as a part of challenge two we need to go ahead and access the endpoint that is there in the mule soft and we also need to use a certificate which called which is which should be named as research callout so first we need to build a self-signed certificate that should be valid for one year let's see how to do that in order to do that i'll go to salesforce search for self-signed certificate or you can search for certificate we'll see certificate in key management and that is where you have an option called create self-signed certificate click on this button provided the name provide the name here unique name is also auto populated for one year select the option as 2048 for other options we'll be selecting the others options in here so 2048 lasts for one year 4096 lasts for two years so select the first option select this checkbox as exportable private key as checked and click on save we have already done that this is how the certificate looks like once you create it so your certificate is created now what we need to do we need to associate that with the name credentials that we have created so in order to attach that click on edit on the name credentials scroll down to the section which says client certificate here is the place where you would see the certificate that you have created which goes by the name research callout select that option and click on save i'll click on cancel for now this is how your entire name credentials would look like quickly validate in case if you are missing out any of the steps and we are all set for making a call out which is the last step in order to reach out to this MuleSoft endpoint that goes by the slash equipments path the call out code is in this class we need to modify that so let's go to the developer console of this or quickly see what we have in there this is the actual code that you would be seeing once you open this class and if you see here the endpoint is hard coded and this client id and secret as well we do not need hard coded that is where we are going to the name credentials let's quickly modify that code i'm just commenting out this code so that way we can use the action so what I'm doing, this is the code that I'm using. Instead of setting all the parameters hard coded here, I'm using the name credentials that we have created in the callout. My endpoint is callout, colon, the name credentials that we have built here, research guardian, and the endpoint that I'm trying to access is equipments, because that is the endpoint that we have, get endpoint that we have. So under the endpoints, you have the equipment as an endpoint. This is the overview of it. It just gives the get options for us. That is what we are trying to access. So I've provided that value in here. Rest all code is seen. Once you create, once you have done that, click save the changes. And once done, call this class. It is a static class, class name dot method name. Method name is this one. I'll just quickly execute this one. If everything goes fine, we should be seeing the debug log as available endpoints if the status code is 200. Our debug log is generated. Let's quickly see. Set the debug logs. And this is the debug log that got generated. So that means the entire exercise is completed. Finally, validate your steps. You should be able to complete this challenge number two. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great rest of it. Hey guys, if you like this video, do like, share and subscribe to SFTC Quest.